hey welcome back everyone in this video we are going to learn about another technique of feature engineering that is known as encoding why do we need encoding because machine learning only understands or your computers only understand numerical data and we need some way to convert the categorical data into numerical data so let's take this above picture example so this is a female this is again a female this is a male again a female and a male all of these are in string okay so all of these are string objects and we need to convert them into numerical values so there are two quite famous ways for that one of them is label encoding and another of it is one hot encoding now these are the two things that are widely used but other than these there are a lot of other encoding ways so for this video we are going to start with label encoding and one hot encoding but you are free to go and search up for more encoding method these are the most widely used so let's start with these now as i've told you that machines understand number not text we need to convert each text category to numbers in order for that machine to process them using mathematical equations now ever wondered how we can do that and what are the different ways we have already talked about the different ways of that typically any structured data set includes multiple columns so we have already seen the titanic data set if you could recall the titanic data set we had different columns we have numerical we have time stamp we have a uh, categorical data set so we had different kind of data in there a combination of numerical as well as categorical variables so a machine can only understand numbers if uh, so it cannot understand the text that's why we need encoding these are the two encoding methods that we are going to use let's start with one hot encoding one hot encoding is one of the most common encoding methods in machine learning now when i'm talking about the most common this is something that i personally widely use in my day to day life this method spreads the values in a column of multiple flag columns and assigns zero or one to them these binary values express the relationship between grouped and encoded columns i know this all of these theory might have just skipped out from your mind but let me just clear it out one hot encoding it simply creates additional features based on the number of unique values in the categorical feature every unique value in the category will be added as a feature so let me show you from this example so we have name gender age and city so let's take city so for each of the unique values we will be having a different column so for berlin we have a different column for sydney we have a different column for tokyo we have a different column for new york we have a different column so whenever this event happens so in this column like in column number 1 so we have berlin so that's why we have one at berlin and all the others are zero for tokyo all the others are zero only in the city tokyo it is one one denotes that it is true and uh, the city the person is present in the city tokyo same thing for charlie dave and ella let's look into one more example so we have id and color we have 1 2 3 4 so we have three unique colors so we will be creating a data set somewhere like this so let's create a data set out of it so what are the unique values so we have red so we will be having a column red and then we have blue and then we have green okay so we have in total of four values let's create some four rows now so first column has the value 1 so we will put 1 0 and 0 second one has blue let's put one over here and all the others will be zero third one has green so let's put all the other zeros and keeping green one same thing for blue 0 1 0 that is how one hot encoding works we will do the implementation of this in a jupyter notebook but before jumping into a jupyter notebook let's jump into a label encoding part so we have already seen one hot encoding the other way is label encoding it is again a very popular encoding technique for handling categorical variables in this technique 
each label is assigned a unique integer based on alphabetical order. Now, what I mean by this is in this column, oops, okay, so in this column, cat 73, all the unique values will be having a label assigned to it and it will be ordered in the alphabetically ordering. ordering. So A, so A is a unique value, it will be having the label 1. Again, A1, C is having 3, B is having 2, again, A, C, B. That's how we do it out. Let's look into one example of it. So we have red, green, blue, green, red, red, green. Again, we have to first arrange them in alphabetically order. So first one is blue. So blue will be having the code 1. So let's mark all the blue as 1. So we have only 1. Then green as it is the nearest, so it will be 2. So let's assign all the green to 2. And red as it is having R, which is in the alphabetical order much later than B and R, B and G. So red is 3. So these are the labels. So when we train our model, we are not going to use this one. We are not going to use this string object value rather than using this we are going to use this one the labels which we have converted so what we have done we have encoded our categorical values into numerical values so this is known as encoding if you look into the first picture now i hope you guys can break it out so first one this is can you guess what this is? So this is one hot encoding. And this one over here is known as label encoder. So that's it for this video. Let's jump into a Jupyter notebook and get some, some hands on view on this.